in 2002, we lost my sister Faith to BRCA-related ovarian cancer. And because our family suffered really traumatically from this disease, we wanted to ensure that no other family out there suffered in the way that we did. We had never heard of BRCA1 or BRCA2. And by the time that my daughter sought help, it was just too late. It was devastating to find out that we couldn't do anything to help her. When we were looking into the BRCA causes and issues, we happened to find a paper written by Susan Domchek, which was a very thoughtful paper that talked about measures women could take to reduce the risk of BRCA. And that inspired us to go down to Penn and learn more about what they were doing there. So we have made a lot of progress, and Penn has been a really important part of the progress made in, that in this field. We know, for instance, that we can prevent breast and ovarian cancer in women with these gene mutations, but right now our options are somewhat limited, and to prevent cancer, the best way to do that is to remove the ovaries or to remove the breasts. And what we want is a better choice for women. The idea of creating this Basser Research Center was to create a central hub where great researchers could work together, collaborate together, collect all the data that's out there, and could also, in the meantime, while we're looking for an answer, they could coach and counsel families who are dealing with the challenges of BRCA-related issues. What we hope the Basser Research Center will do with the amazing gift from Mindy and John Gray is to enable us to really look at what is possible in the prevention of deadly breast and ovarian cancer and really make a difference in people's lives, both in prevention and in cure. The, the Basser Center can certainly accelerate our progress in this field. That's, that's really our major goal. Uh, by pulling a team of people together with different types of expertise, some in immunotherapy and vaccine development, others working on molecular imaging, others working on early diagnostic tests, this team together can accelerate progress with the ultimate goal of being able to either prevent or intervene early so that this uh, cancer doesn't take a toll on people's lives. That kind of promise of coming here and knowing with the unfolding science and the commitment we have to compassionate care, this is the right place to be. You know, you can't accept what's uh, standard uh, anymore. A status quo is unacceptable. Every time we wake up every morning, what can we do that's different? Can we innovate? What's the new science? We want to put ourselves out of business, frankly. So, you know, I think this gift hopefully will get us there someday. We really can see a time uh, we, where we are targeting prevention and treatment in much better ways. That in 10 years, we understand better who's at substantial risk for developing ovarian cancer and who's at a much lower risk. We're talking about individualized risk assessment and individualized um, uh, prevention and detection methods. My greatest hope is that there's a cure, or at least that there's better options, less invasive than surgery for my children. I want to make sure that they live a happy and healthy long, long life, that they don't get to miss out on anything because they have a BRCA mutation. Knowing that the center exists, will exist, gives me hope. I had a better option than my mother. I was able to identify my risk and mitigate it. And my hope is that down the pike, future generations who have the gene, that they will be able to mitigate their risk with less severe actions. So my hope for the future is that individuals like myself and families like myself will become educated and knowledgeable about the fact that this discovery has happened and that there are things that you can do to not only prevent the cancer diagnosis, but to deal with and help you to better treat your diagnosis. I would urge people to go out there, understand their genetics, be empowered and make decisions to face their risk factors and protect themselves. When we lost faith, our sister, I couldn't see, I couldn't understand how you could lose somebody so young and so dear to you and how that could make sense. But through that loss it's, comes the rainbow and the rainbow is going to be that this center is going to create great things. It, it's going to make a difference.